football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this. The full match is coming up next on EA TV. Well, the weather forecast has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Bayern Munich up against Werder Bremen. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Nusair Mazraoui plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Kingsley Coman starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. And well positioned to clear. Masraoui, can he play it in? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And played in by Kimmich. It might still be problematic. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Advantage played. Marvin Dux. Bayern pushing forward with options available. And passing it well. Sané, but intercepted. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Mitchell Weiser, Milos Veljkovic. Great effort to keep that one in play. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Nusser Mazraoui. Well, let's see about the cross. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And this could represent an opportunity for Bayern to nudge in front. They've won the corner. Now sending it in. Well, the danger is still there. Upamecano. Well, he's got past his man. Nicely blocked. Romano Schmidt. Weiser with it. Milos Veljkovic. Bittencourt. Possession lost by Werder Bremen. And that is it for the first half as the referee blows the whistle. And Bayern find themselves level at the interval. All to play for in the second half. Yeah, we've been lauding their attack in play, but today they've just been below their normal standards. They've lacked that little bit of sharpness, but credit to their opponents, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. No nonsense clearance. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. And clears the danger. Now Harry Kane on the move. Blocked it brilliantly. Kane. 
In it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead! Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and Kane's strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power and accuracy, what a player he is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Marvin Dux. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And space available inside. And not cleared away properly. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. Great vision from Harry Kane. Now he's got to stay calm. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Two nil now and back on the way. Good physical play. Now options are plenty. Bitten court. Well, it's a decent looking attack, this. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. 20 minutes to go. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And he's clear as lines. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, a forceful effort, but it goes down as a missed opportunity. Well, he strikes it with power, but not with accuracy. I think that's a big miss. Thomas Müller, and he has options available. Oh, he saved it well. This is going to be a double substitution. Joshua Kimmich with the corner. Oh, fine stop. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? The corner from Kimmich, half-hearted clearance, an alert piece of defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Not advantage with them, referee says play on. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. 
and he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And a substitution in the offing. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And Kimmich couldn't keep it. And there it is, officially the end of the game. Bayern get the victory and take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.